In this last account, the focus is on a fifth-year art and design class and on the way media education and oracy are drawn on by their teacher to support their work. Tony Carroll has been teaching art for six years. His interest in introducing a range of visual media to his classes has led to him developing media education work through photography. Well, in 1988, the West Sussex Photography Pro Project began and I went to a meeting where I was quite interested in the work and I was looking at ways of developing photography in uh, my own art department here uh, or my art, own art practice here, um, thinking that uh, photography would be a good development for some of the students' work. Rather than teaching a conventional skills-based photography course, Tony used photo montage as a way of exploring with pupils the way meanings can be communicated and reality represented. When I saw the work, I was quite interested in the concept of how meaning was constructed and how an audience might interpret that meaning or those meanings. And it be soon became clear that photography can be many, many things. If you take Claire Wilson's work, for example, she started by actually taking single framed images that were put together to create uh, a wider piece of work that was bigger than just the one frame to show uh, a greater detail of the classroom which suggested things like movement, for example. The work was linked to an oracy project in which Tony introduced a variety of talk contexts. The pupils were asked first to choose a theme or issue that interested them and to research it in books, magazines and newspapers. As they worked, they were encouraged to discuss their ideas and visual experimentations, becoming a first audience for each other's work. Oh, actually, gives a better effect. You know, I don't want to just cut it out in a normal shape or something. It's it just look it boring, you know. Some Later, tape recordings and notebooks were used in more formal reflection on finished work. Here, Kirsten is interviewing Claire about her work. So it was really just an experiment. Mm. You got repetitions here of people. Was this like deliberate? Yes, because in this montage I wanted to show time and movement. So by showing the repetition, I was showing that the people were actually moving. Because if you just seen, looked at like one frame, all it would have been, you'd just see the people as they were at that moment in time when you press the button. But mm. if you get all the frames, you see different positions showing that they did actually move. Mm. The second one here is um, like collage style instead of the photographs. Was this, why you trying change of style? I um, did it like that because I couldn't really use photographs. It wasn't all photographs going up to make the photo montage. I was using images just to put my meaning across. Like I was using a book and um, a sheet of green, so I, it wasn't all photographs. So I just couldn't put it like a framework. Mm. No, because of course the IRA like really controversial. A lot of people thought you, that you supported it from there. Was that the meaning you were trying to convey through it? No, if that I think if people look closer at my montage and maybe look um, at my writing on the montage, they would have seen that I actually condemned the IRA from the montage. I'm saying that the innocent suffer due to their cause. Yeah, because like what you're talking about, there is a lot more meaning in this one than the first one. Does this show like you got the better understanding of the, what you were trying to do? Yes, definitely, because like, as I said before, that's just an experiment. It was like my first montage, but I'd already done that montage and several in my, my sketchbook before I came onto this one, so I did know how to show meaning in images yeah. by that time. So how did you get like all this the Irish stuff between this in this one, like without the stereotypes. It's very hard to find images of that stereotype in Ireland, like Guinness, the Shamrock, Blarney Stone, Green. Mm. Oh, even though I have used Green in there. And I see a Shamrock. Yeah, <laughs> Shamrock. But um, I just looked in libraries. Um, I tried to find anything that even the remotest, the remotest connection with Ireland. I still put it in. When Claire deals with an issue like the IRA, she really interrogates it um, quite intensely. And she found it difficult to simplify down exactly what it was that she was trying to say. And montage provides